Hi everyone, so we're here at the compound. So this is our new property we just bought. Our family is all around this area. So this year is our first full year actually living out here. You may see in an earlier video or in a later video, our little cabin that we're uh, living in now. We're actually trying to get some more property. So when we get that property, um, we'll build over there. So we'll have later videos on that, but this playlist is going to be all about bees and we'll upload weekly on all of our progress with the bees. Um, you may have seen in the last video, or this may be our first video doing it, um, we set up our apiary. So maybe earlier we'll do the time lapse for it. Um, so we just went online and bought a package of bees. They're going to be here uh, next week uh, in a couple of days. So we also got a hive and some other miscellaneous bee tools, odds and ends to kind of help us through our first year. So we went ahead and we painted uh, the hive and all the boxes. We have a medium, a super, and another super. And for those of you who don't know what that's, that is, because this is obviously my first time, this is, I guess, where all the brood are gonna go. And then these next two are for uh, the honey. So I'm gonna just break it apart real quick. We're gonna kind of go through all the parts and pieces I got. If you hear that scampering, that's my dog Lucy running around. And <clears throat> we're just gonna go through the pieces. I have read up a little bit on it, so I know a little bit of what these are. Um, as we kind of go through the season, any comments or any um, words of advice that any of you guys have if you want to go ahead and shoot it in the comments below just to kind of help us through our first year and Hopefully we have a nice successful year of keeping bees. So I'm gonna go ahead and break it in I have seen Beehives blow over and I have seen people use ratchet straps um, It is a little wobbly right now as you can see so I'm gonna try to secure it a little bit more on the base But I think I'm gonna keep the ratchet strap on it um, just for extra precautions so we don't have any damages or um, any issues with the hive later on. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. <clears throat> so we've got our top here, so we did paint it. It didn't come painted. We've just got our cap right here. We just painted around the outside. It's just regular pine, and they've got uh, this aluminum top over it. Next piece they gave us, kind of like a top separator if we wanted to put um, fondant, any kind of food or pollen up here um, as separation and bees can come out here, maybe even extra ventilation um, to use this. Um, so this is kind of just a separation board. <clears throat> so this is our first super um, of uh, frames that we have. So this is a 10 frame set and we did go with the already pre-drawn uh, frames. So these are wax coated with beeswax right now. Um, as you can see, they're not really drawn out yet, so we need the bees for that. And then we just have the pine wood around it. So there's 10 frames in here. And this is one of our supers. And it's a 10 frame box. We were also given a, a queen ex excluder. So it's just a metal frame uh, or metal mesh with a wooden pine frame around it. And then we have our second super that's also painted and it's also came with the frames um, of the pre-drawn, pre or it's not pre-drawn, but it's already got the little indentations of your hexagon cells in it. And then it is wax coated. All right. And then we have our medium box, and this is what I'm also gonna to refer to it as the brood box, because this is where the hive's gonna live. When we first get our hive, we'll just start off with this, and then we'll put our top frame on here to close them up, and then we'll put the lid back on after that. So we'll have those, set them on here. These are, this is a medium, or this is a medium box. Um, it does have the drawn out. These are black, but it is covered in the beeswax coating already. So we've got there, this is a 10 frame medium box. Also gonna be called the brood box on this channel. So we'll start off with this. We'll put our package in this uh, when it comes later on this next week. And we'll leave them in this until they draw it out. 
And then the plan is to put the queen excluder on top of that and then add a super and then maybe even get some honey. Um, I've got a lot of interest in bees. We've been wanting to do this for a couple of years now and finally been able to do it. So hopefully um, we'll just get through this first year and have a good year learning about everything and just watching the bees work and um, get them through the first winter. And if we get some honey at the end of the season or maybe even earlier in the season, then that's just a bonus. The last piece, oops, or one of the last pieces, it's st sticking a little just because of the paint. So we do have this little entrance reducer. Um, we did paint one side of it. I guess uh, we could have painted all sides of it. We're probably not going to use this because I also did get, and I've seen it a lot, um, a, a metal entrance reducer that I'll actually show you right now. So we've got this queen excluder. Uh, we did paint one side. We probably won't use it. Um, I did get another metal excluder. Um, this did not come with the package, but it has um, just a bee reducer so they can get in and then it's also you can flip it around if you have uh, some kind of a robbing going on. This is just for ventilation only. So I'll be putting this on today too, but uh, this did not come with the package. What did come with the starter package was a full bee suit, which you'll see me in the next video when we get our bees. Um, it did come with this hive tool. So it's basically just a pry bar. This hole is just to hang it on so you can pry them open it. I guess there's beeswax in between these that hold them together so you can pry it open and it's helped for uh, moving the frames around. So this did come with the package. It did come with this smoker. So this is a brand new smoker. We're gonna try it out today. Um, we did buy some wood pellets. This did not come with the package, but the smoker did. And then we also have a lot of pine trees with the long needles and we were told this is good to burn as well so we're gonna try to um, light this with just these pine needles today and just make sure we can get it working so there's that and then they also gave us this is gonna go inside I don't know if you can see this or not can they see this so it's also it's just gonna sit right here um, inside and this is just a little feeder for the bees. I did get um, uh, another two gallon pail and if the bees seem to go through um, all of their sugar syrup early then we'll go ahead and start figuring out a different way to feed them more. Uh, one of the last things that came with the package is a, just a bee brush so this did come with it as well. Alright so I'll kind of talk about this bottom piece so this is where all your frames are going to sit on so you've got this little uh, wire mesh um, to separate it. It did come, we did upgrade um, with this little plastic cover piece, pull it out here. So anything that drops down through the screen will sit on here. So if we ever do get like a mite problem or some kind of sickness or um, little hive beetles we'll be able to see them in this. Um, so we put this little piece of tape on it so it's easier to pull out because when we first got it it was kind of hard to pull out but that sits here and that's pretty much it so i'm going to reassemble this and then we're going to go ahead and put the bee reducer on and then we're going to put our gate on and do a couple other things and we'll call it a day and then the next time you see us we'll open our package and we'll put our first bees in for our first beehive so the first thing that goes on is the medium frame or the brood box. Then we're going to put our queen excluder on. Then our first super of 10 frames. Our second super of 10 frames. Our cover right here, and then our lid. And as I said, just because I'm worried about some wind or something knocking this over, I'm gonna go ahead and put the strap on and we're gonna leave the strap on probably most of the time. But I'll put that on after I put this queen, or this uh, 
USB reducer on. So we're going to go ahead and put this on right now. I'm going to grab a screwdriver. So now we have our little bee reducer and then if we wanted to vent it later on uh, during a robbing or something like that then we should be all set. I did just however notice that with this I can no longer put this on unless I cut this metal which I really don't want to do. So another way we're going to get around with uh, using this is um, when I was watching videos they took out um, all the frames out of one of these supers and then kind of just put the feeder up here like so. So we're probably just going to go ahead and start doing that. I'll kind of show you what I mean right now. And uh, we'll just go that route instead of feeding them at the entrance. So what I've seen others do is they would just use the super box as a you know kind of like a weather restriction and then they would take so let's just say this would be our brood box and then they would put the separation on it like so and then they would either flip a bucket or some kind of feed on here. So we can do that and we can just leave it just like this. So they can come up, go in here, grab the sugar syrup or the simple syrup, and then we'll just leave the super on it like so. And then the lid will go on top of it. So it's all enclosed in all the simple sugars in there for the bees and we can have it just like that so that's probably what we're gonna have to do so we can keep this um, uh, bee entrance reducer or they've also referred to it as like a like a mouse guard so mice don't get in here and we do have a lot of field mice here so we're gonna keep this on for pretty much the entire time and this will just be how we feed our bees. So now that we have that, I will take this out for now. Put all the frames back in. Just so we can close this up. Alright, there you have it. So we'll close this up with the ratchet strap. And we're going to go ahead and put our gate on and secure this a little bit. Um, but first what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try out the smoker and see if we can get that to light. I've seen a lot of people have issues with it so I just kind of want to try it before our bees actually get here. Um, so let's go ahead and try that now. So we have our smoker right here. There's just a little guard on it. So we'll just take this guard off. First time I've ever done this, there is a little vent right here. So I'm assuming this goes at the bottom before we put the pine needles in. So we're just gonna put this, leave this at the bottom. And then we're gonna take our, we're gonna take our pine needles. And how I've seen them do it is they just take a few trailer. They just take a few, kind of pack them down in there really tight. Maybe fill about a third of it up. And then they light it and get it going.
once they get it going, they take a bunch more little bundles, kind of shove it down in there, and kind of pack it, fill it up. That might be too much. Well, it is smoking. It is still hot. Oh, I may have. Should we close it? So you can see there is still a little bit of smoke. Put this behind it so you can see it. It's not very strong. So I'm going to try to put a little more of a flame in there. Oh, now my thing won't work. Let that burn for a sec. Close up the lid. There we go. All right. So we've got our smoker to calm the bees. I'm not sure if we're gonna use this or if we're gonna use uh, our wooden pellets that we bought. We bought the wooden pellets and then as we were watching videos, we saw people use pine needles of those long pines, those like three inch pine needles. And we've got a bunch over there on the property. So we just went and scooped up, got a bucket full of them. And if we can use that rather than the wood pellets, it'd be something we don't have to buy. Oh, I'm losing my flame already. Whew, just so you know, that is hot. So I did lose it. Let's try it again. I think what I did is I think I just put too much in here. So let me take some out. And it, maybe it just didn't have enough room to breathe. So it lights really easy. I'm gonna put that back on. It is very hot. And I'm not sure how long these are supposed to last, but I, it obviously burnt itself out because there was still plenty in there. So it's still smoking pretty good. I guess that'll be enough for now and we'll see kind of how long that sits there and smokes for. And I don't know if these pine needles are better than the wood pellets or not for the bees. I don't know too much about it. I'm kind of hoping we'll have some chillax bees and I won't have to use this smoker too much. So we'll see how it works and see how it goes. We'll let that kind of burn down. Um, while we're going ahead and uh, putting our makeshift gate together. All right, cool. So we've got our bees coming. We're gonna do a time lapse of us putting up the gate real quick. We got our bees coming next week. So you'll see us next week here at the compound. I'll probably have my brother-in-law with me and my boy with me. We'll all get here and we'll put the bees in and, and we'll start our beekeeping for the year. So this will be one of the first videos of many on this channel and good to go. So our smoker's still running. We got our fence up. We gotta get what? A, a tote. tote. To We're gonna go get it. a tote so we can leave our tools out here so it doesn't rain. Wow, this thing's just going pretty good. Pine needles. And then, uh, I'll open this up, maybe it'll. Oh, look at that.
our brand new smoker is no longer brand new. It's very dirty. But it does a good job, so looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and grab a tote. <clears throat> and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna take apart the two by fours and kind of support this a little better. And then once it's supported a little better, then we're done for the day and we're ready for the bees. We'll see you when we get the bees.